Ladies and gentlemen, coin enthusiasts and collectors, welcome back to our channel. I'm thrilled to have you join me today for another exciting journey into the fascinating world of numismatics. In today's video, we're going to embark on an exhilarating quest to uncover eight rare and valuable US coins that command significant premiums at auctions. So hit that subscribe button below and let's dive in. Number 8. This is 1951 S. Washington Quarter in MS-68 condition. Attractively toned specimen housed inside an NGC holder. The mottled, multicolored toning that adorns both sides of this exquisite ultra gem suggests decades spent in an original mint set holder. The surfaces are fully frosted and so carefully preserved as to approach numismatic perfection. It was sold for $1,020. Number 7. A pattern and error coin in one. 1977 Pattern Liberty Dollar Overstrack on a Sacagawea Dollar. Ungraded coin in uncirculated condition. Obverse of a coin depicts Liberty Cap Portrait with Liberty above, date 1977 below, stars at border arranged 6 left, 7 right, motto in God we trust in lower left field. On the reverse, eagle flying over sun with field of stars within rays, legend United States of America above, denomination $1 below, marked copy at left. The designer's initials FG appear on both sides. It was sold for $576. Number 6. Here is 1951 Washington quarter dollar struck on a Lincoln cent planchet. Graded in mint state 64 brown by NGC. Liberty was struck almost totally off the flan. Motto and the date are partially impressed. Device elements on the reverse are mostly soft, letterings are distorted. This error quarter fetched a sum of $2,640. Number 5. This is 1952 Lincoln Cent in MS-67 red condition. The 1952 Lincoln Cent is very scarce in MS-67 condition, and numerically finer coins are virtually unobtainable. This magnificent superb gem offers well-detailed design elements and impeccably preserved original red surfaces that radiate vibrant mint luster from both sides. Overall PCGS population is comprised of 38 cents in that grade as of October 6, 2023. This specimen ended up selling for $2,585. Number 4. Here is 1951 D. Lincoln cent struck on a silver dime planchet. Graded in mint state 64 by PCGS. An impressive off-metal wheat cent in nice mint state. According to Heritage Auctions, because a dime planchet is smaller than a cent planchet, the peripheral strike is incomplete, within God we trust partial and blurry. E pluribus unum is also softly defined. The date and mint mark are bold. A broad, well-defined rim is noted near 7 o'clock. It was sold for $3,840. Number 3. Here is 1934 Washington Quarter with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 66 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, a fully frosted, virtually brilliant example with a bold to sharp strike throughout. The 1934 double die obverse ranks as one of the most spectacular mint errors of the 20th century. Although it is many multiples rarer than the 1955 double die obverse scent, it often commands lower premiums, placing it within the reach of many Washington quarter specialists. Five as in Stanton estimate a population of just between 251 and 500 examples. It was sold for $7,800. Number 2. This is 1946 S. Lincoln sent in MS-67 plus red condition. Given that its mintage approaches 200 million pieces, the 1946 S. will never be rare in typical mint state. But in the MS-67 plus red grade, the issue acquires conditional significance, since only 25 pieces have attained that level at PCGS with none finer. A sharply struck and unabraded orange red superb gem. It was sold for $16,800. Number 1. And here is 1945 Lincoln sent in MS 67 plus condition. According to NGC, this was the second year of shell case sent production, so called because some of the metal used was obtained from brass cartridge cases recovered from military training facilities. The only real difference between these coins and the pre-war composition was the emission of tin in the alloy. Since this typically comprised only 1% of the total mass, its absence is not evident from visual inspection. The 1945 Lincoln cent is a semi-tough date to find in MS-66 grade or higher. 
Remarkably, the Philadelphia issue of this year is scarcer and high grade than either of the branch mint dates. This plus designated superb gem is among the finest at PCGS, an important acquisition for the competitive registry set collector. The surfaces are vibrantly lustrous, with lilac and olive hues emerging from the coppery red patina. The strike is sharp and just a single, tiny carbon speck is detected, in the field behind Lincoln's shoulder. It was sold for $20,400. Thanks for watching this episode till the end. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe buttons below this video. And comment if you have such rare coins. Stay well.